off of Route 2 to get to the town. We have Route 2, the major east-west corridor for the whole state uh, on northern end going right through our town. We have a lot of positive attributes that we can sell to these businesses, and I think that it's time. I said I was going to do that when I ran, and I've allowed myself to be muddled down with other stuff, and I'm not doing that anymore. And I think that this is going to be, this may be the most important request that I make for my full three years, but I think, I'm not talking about a $50,000 marketing scheme. I'm talking about a simple letter to responsible businesses. I've already started collecting some information as a citizen for their marketing departments and scouting locations that we can send to these places and solve our problem instead of constantly rehashing, we can be proactive instead of reactive to dealing with the mess. And that's, Thank you. that's Thank you for the opportunity. Can I follow up on that? I was, I was sucked in the sinkhole, it's true. Can I follow up on that? I thought you get a grocery store and I already, I already have the 300,000 square foot permanent mall down the street. Mm -hmm. Get the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, just so, so you know, on the record, right. they don't want to come to me and several other people have been doing that yeah. for five years. Right. You get the grocery store, everybody else will come. That's yep. the highest okay. anchor to get That's in. Right. So, was, so send out the letters and send them to everybody what, again. Okay. This is intended for recommend it's comments, a good idea. not to get back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, yeah, and I see you in a second. Uh, my comment is... Uh, I received an email today uh, from State House News. Uh, the First Citizens Bank. Excuse me. Hey. Excuse me. Do we have a planning board school committee meeting like later? Uh, through State House News, uh, First Citizens Bank is uh, promoting, a, beginning a, uh, a grant offering of uh, economic development. It's not huge money. It's a hundred and fifty thousand dollar total grant. Grants in the fifteen to twenty, twenty-five thousand dollar range. They started at their headquarters. Um, they started in Chicago, and it worked well. And they are now offering it around here. Uh, the deadline is September nineteenth. They say in the thing they look for uh, <coughs> improving, like the front of a building, sort of curb appeal, uh, small businesses, nonprofits, uh, <coughs> anything that will make an area attractive either business-wise or uh, improve the look of it so it will attract homeowners, things like that. Uh, it's not too far off uh, and I believe the thing to do is send them, you know, send a letter. Uh, we do have, we don't have a ton of time, but we do have time uh, to, uh, to request that amount for a project for, I would suggest probably like these towns it would be the next area after the whole back bay is done. That's a little village in town. That's one of them that could use uh, some work. There's been some improvements down there with the reopening of, uh, of JK's where Olson's restaurant used to be. That is one possibility. Uh, I'd like to remind everybody on the television that the school committee meeting is at uh, 18, uh, 6 30 p.m. this Wednesday uh, at the Kiva. Uh, I would also encourage people to go uh, by the Historical Society, try to get in touch with either Brian Tangway or Harry Aldridge. Uh, they sell a book on the history of Templeton. Uh, if you buy it from them, they get more of the profits for the Historical Society. Uh, and if they have an open house, like I know they do every occasionally on uh, Saturday, uh, it's, I think it's a good thing to go to. Uh, another thing you might be interested to know that uh, when you see the Templeton ambulance going down the road, answering calls, and it's no, it's not always a good thing. Uh, an ambulance is running; somebody is usually hurt. There's usually a situation. However, the thing that happens because of that is they generate income for the town. It goes into the ambulance receipts account. And in talking with the chief, you know, eventually that account brings in enough money. Ambulances can be obtained not through taxation, but through appropriation, moving the money from there to there. And uh, in talking with the chief uh, at Arts and Crafts Fair, uh, I asked, I had to ask, uh, possibility to transfer money from there to the town side for small things. Uh, he said, well, you know, it's possibility. So, but the opportunity is there. But again, when you see the ambulances out there running, that ambulance receipt account builds, and 
uh, you, you get to buy equipment and things for the town, not for taxation. You get to spread your tax dollars to something else. They will be through appropriation, and uh, I think that was important. Uh, so I, I look forward to the council committee sending us the number. Uh, I'll probably see you Wednesday, and uh, we'll get this thing started um, sooner rather than later. And hopefully, hopefully. Uh, we will go the route of the override or at least the override and some cuts and not the financial devastation of 20% across the board cut because that is, uh, it's not sustainable to be there. It just can't have to go. Yes, Bob. Yes, Bob. Jeff, where, where can we send them? Should we send them? We have an agenda item request. Where are we going to send them? You can send it to the Board of Selectmen's office. You. I'll have to double check this, but my email and phone number is on the town website, correct? My phone number is 978 360 4634 jpb01468 at comcast.net. As the chairman of the board of selectmen, I can place the agenda item on the agenda. Or just send it to the board of selectmen. That's on the website. It's, it, I, I got an email and I said I wanted it on there. I mean, I've set it on TV. Mr. Mr. Chairman, just so you know that if you set, if you go onto the website, there is an email address thing that you can end up going and it actually goes to the actual board that you are, you're talking right. with. My individual email is under the board select. It's yeah. supposed to be there. Okay. And you click on it, it will just email right, right to me. And my phone number is there. Thank you. Having said all this, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion made by Selectman Robinson, second by Selectman Farrell. Any discussion? Billy? Yes. Doug? Yes. Ken? Yes. And yes. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.